Howdy folks, it's RJ Helms here with episode 14 of Let's Play Open TDD with the Furs Industry Set. Uh, it's been a little while, um, you'll have to bear with me. I think the last time I actually sat down and played this game was before I recorded the episodes that I put on when I was away for uh, the Christmas holidays, so it must have been about three weeks ago, maybe more than that. Uh, if I recall correctly, we've, the biggest thing we did was finished this um, lumber chain, so taking the lumber to a... Sawmill, yes, here it is. Or wood to the sawmill. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be a lumber train. Yes, there is. Where are you? It's making its way happily back to... Actually, right back to here. We're just going to do a little tram loop. I've got a, a lumber train waiting here. And that's going to go to STPW where goods are going to be produced. Which we'll need to get transferred back to... <clears throat> excuse me. We need to get transferred back to here to go to their ultimate destination. So, I think what I should do now that train's coming is actually build the goods train, or goods tram. You're going to be full load here and transfer and leave empty over there, and you can get started. Now um, we're going to STPH. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually a transfer order, or it should be, not a Oh, no, it's not a transfer, never mind, because it's actually dropping them off there. And that's right, this was the other big challenge that we were having, was that this intersection, SKH1, as I have named it, does not have the capacity that one would expect. Um, and it's starting to slow us down, so that, I believe at the end of the last episode, what I wanted to do was improve that junction in particular. I mean, everything else should be going fine. We can just watch this stuff, right? Like, this is going to start building up lumber. We'll have wood building up other places. But there's no real point in getting more trains on the network while things are bogged down like this. Yep, yeah, you're having the exact same problem. So that's becoming a priority. No, I guess we just have to dive right in. It's not going to be too pleasant, but... So the risk of trains doing really stupid things and going stupid places, I'm just going to start... breaking some of these entrances. might actually be deadlocked now, too. That's kind of funny. Because <laughs> you're going to SKH, which is up there. You're going to KWTN, which is over here, isn't it? No, it's down here. You're going there, yeah. So this actually managed to deadlock itself. So, not a minute too soon. Okay, so... That's going to be a poor solution to release the deadlock, and then this whole thing's going to go away. And there we go. So 
So I had done some research in the interim about ways, uh, types of junction to build. And I was looking at the, um, the Tetrasorp junction is a possibly a good one. So step one to make that happen is actually do. And this should be big enough is to space things out a ways like that. I mean, you can do better than this. Actually, you can just come like that. You're an, oh, no, you're an exit, so no harm done. I'm just not sure if that's actually centered. You're nine and you're nine. Of course, you should actually be there. I'm just trying to find a center point now. And so this is just like, I think I mentioned the Tetrathorpe Junction, which is just from the wiki. So obviously you guys don't actually cross like that. You tunnel under. I get some bridging over. Got these spiral arms like that. Okay, and the only question is how do the other ones go? Oh, I'm clicking around to the wrong windows here. Um, so your bridge is going to be there, and your bridge is going to be there. Straight in and straight in. Let me see. So if I come from this way, I can go there. I can go there. I can go there. If I come from here, I can go there. I can go straight through. Or I can go there. Yeah. That seems to be complete. This is a matter of signaling it up. So I want to signal it basically at all of the... ...split points. Oh, 
I'm passing on all the merge points. I have regular signals. Okay, how are we doing here? So that's... I'm going to see if I'm missing anything. It's kind of hard to figure out how to approach this systematically. That one looks good. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> Let's hook it up and see what we get. Add some more signals in just for these couple few gaps I've created. I'm somewhat worried that I might be over signaling it now. Let's just watch this for a moment. How's it look? Oh, that's a little ugly with what I've removed, but... I'm prepared to call that an improvement for sure. <laughs> As you can tell, because this is becoming a deadlock. That's great. And now, with any luck, yeah, that's great. Here's the first lumber train finally coming into the station. I mean, that, that break is going to have bollocked up all of my um, service intervals, so to speak, so I can't really stress about things like that for now. Some silly things have happened here.
Oh, you actually ended up on a track full on going the wrong way. That happened to me last time. That's the real problem with this. There must be a setting that can change that behavior, but I don't know offhand what it is. Do you need to go to that depot? And you need to go to that depot. And you actually need to go to that depot as well. And you guys can do whatever you want from there. Which is surely going to be wrong, but... At least it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so you... have nearly a hundred. Okay, well that's working though. Train 42 is lost. Where are you going? Yeah, you're going up there where you didn't want to, but that's okay. And I can't place too much faith in my, um, not this, this, my waiting cargo. Because everything's been kind of slowed down, so I just have to let these things equalize for a while. Let's run things on fast forward. Watch this junction. Yeah, that is much smoother. So I could do this here. I mean, this is also still a sticking point. want to check, do a bit more looking for any obvious deadlocks. I don't see any. Now we can put a couple more trains on, like BNGW, for example. Oh, there's two. But you could survive having a third.
Am I bringing farm supplies there? I think I am. Yeah, I am. But all in all, I think, I mean, it's going to be a little while before things need to equalize. Things will get a chance to equalize. So I don't, I think this is probably a good place to put a break in the episode. Um, didn't actually get finished on the, um, the taking the goods, but that should be ready soon enough. It looks like it's just going to take one more, possibly two more lumber trains to drop off. And there it will be. So that could easily happen in the next episode. I do need to make some more improvements here, um, improve this junction, and then probably redo this one as well. Um, thankfully, this is actually a little bit smaller, or about the same size as the um, roundabout junction I was using, so it should hold. I should be able to fit it in this space here, no problem, which is nice, uh, but we'll get like, all on with that in the next episode, and then we can get back on track with expanding. Um, but I'll take a bit of time to let things equalize before we can really look at the trouble spots as far as train capacity and industries to serve. So we can't make too many decisions with the information we have here right now. Um, I mean, there's certainly some safe bets. Like I wouldn't be surprised if another food train would be a good idea, but I don't want to overcommit because I think that could be part of what actually got into the mess here. You know, as things slow down, you put more trains on thinking that your problem is not enough trains, and that actually just makes the problem worse. It's definitely a thing that can happen if you don't watch. Um. You get deadlocks like this, so you kind of got to be vigilant, but... That is fine. I mean, the bigger your network gets, the kind of less vigilance you want required for your own part, just because it becomes easier to miss things. And it certainly seems like we're kind of up on that point now. But anyways, um, I think things were a little bit rough here because I'm just getting back into it. But hope you enjoyed this. This has been Open TTD with the Furs Industry Set. I've been Archie Helms. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave any comments with any thoughts or feedback you have about this episode or this series or my channel in general. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.